Eric here from LEDGrowLightsDepot.com with a review of the Mars Hydro FC 4800 LED grow light. Stay tuned for the full review, par testing, my final thoughts, and to find out if the newest Mars Hydro series, the FC series, is their best one yet. Hit the like and subscribe button and let's go. The FC 4800 is part of Mars Hydro's newest series, the FC series, released August 2020. At the time of this review, the series is also made up of the smaller FC 3000 and the FC 6500, the largest light in the series. The FC 3000 is best for a 3x3 flower area, while the FC 6500 will flower up to a 5x5 area. The FC 4800 is constructed of six passively cooled bars. On top of the bar sits the driver and dimmer box. The dimming box dims the fixture smoothly down to 10% intensity and allows you to daisy chain up to 15 lights on a single daisy chain. This power supply platform is removable and can be placed outside of the grow space to help reduce heat. A NEMA 515P 120 volt style plug is installed on the end of the cord. The FC series folds in half for easy transport and installation. When fully extended, the fixture measures 32.6 inches by 32.2 inches. At only 19.4 pounds, the unit is fairly lightweight. The series can be used in home and commercial applications. A three year warranty is offered by the manufacturer. Furthermore, the Mars Hydro FC fixtures are ETL and DLC listed and IP65 waterproof, dustproof. The FC 4800 contains a total of 2070 Samsung LM301B and Osram Deep Red 660nm diodes. The spectrum runs a bit on the cooler side. Notice the higher bump in blue compared to the bump in green and red. There are not any separate UV or far red diodes in this series. Expect about 50,000 hours or more of use until the fixture should be replaced. The FC4800 and FC6500 are powered by an Inventronics driver. The FC3000 uses a Meanwell driver. All of these drivers can be used in up to 277 volt applications. At 116 volts, I measured 480 watts and 4.12 amps. Expect a slightly lower wattage draw and half the amps at 220 volts or 240 volts. The total heat output at full power is 1,637 BTUs per hour or around 48% less heat and energy than a 1,000 watt HPS. Mars Hydro does not report their total light output, also known as PPF, for this series. They claim an efficacy of 2.9 micromoles per joule, which I think is a bit off. Most other lights that use high quality drivers and efficient diodes have a PAR efficacy of around 2.4 to 2.7 micromoles per joule. We do not know what bin, Samsung, and Osram diodes they are using either, so assuming the worst case scenario, the lowest bin, I would say the efficacy of this fixture at full power is 2.4 micromoles per joule, which is my best guess, and you know, that's still pretty good. The fixture will cover a strong 3.5 foot by 3.5 foot or up to a four foot by four foot area for flower. For reference, the FC3000 will flower a three by three area and the FC6500 a strong four by four or up to a five by five area. I recommend a 12 to 24 inch hanging distance for the FC4800 above your plants under most circumstances. I set up the FC4800 in my four x four Gorilla Grow tent to test the PPFD. Let's check out those readings now. Our first reading is gonna be at 36 inches below the light. We're hitting just over 600 PPFD. Moving the sensor to the back, we are showing around 511 PPFD and into the corner about 445 and the other side about 520. So I don't recommend flowering at this height. This would be a great height for vegging, assuming that you have the light at full power. And lastly, just moving the sensor around to show you the uniformity, which is pretty good at this height. All right, the next reading's at 24 inches, right around 880 PPFD in the center. Moving to the back, about 635 corner, just under 500. And the other side, right around 610. So now we're kind of getting into the flowering range. Um, this would be a fine height uh, for flowering. Um, also, you're gonna see my next reading is gonna be a little bit closer at 18 inches, which is also gonna be another great height for flowering. So a little less uniformity here, but some pretty good intensities. And as I said, our next reading is at 18 inches. In the center, about 
50 PPFD to the back about 717 corner about 460 and the other side about 584 so some pretty good intensities uh, at 18 inches a little less uniformity than 36 inches and 24 inches but uh, you know if you're gonna flower I'd recommend 24 to 18 inches uh, you can go a little bit closer than 18 inches but you're gonna have way less uniformity and I'll show you that right now now we're at 12 inches below the light right in the center about 1550 ppfd you can see that it quickly drops off as we move to the back to about 745 into the corner about 375 and the other side 550 so notice that huge difference in uniformity from the center all the way to the back and especially into the corner um, at 12 inches i'm just going to move it around to show you how the uniformity changes so I don't recommend flowering at 12 inches, although you can, but your sweet spots, again, gonna be at 24 to 18 inches with this fixture. Let's sum this up with my final thoughts on this light. First of all, Mars Hydro has not always had the best reputation. The quality of their fixtures and their customer service have been points of concern. Mars is based overseas, so fast and direct customer service can be challenging at times but their lights and their customer service have gotten better over the years. The TS series was an improvement over their Blurple lights and the FC series is an upgrade over the TS series. Side note, the SP series is also a very good series. I like the variety of sizes, power, and coverage areas reflected in the three different models. Anyone growing in a 3x3 to 5x5 area can use these lights. The FC 4800 is smaller than most other bar lights on the market at 32 inches square, but it's hard to tell that from the photos. The FC 6500 is 44 inches square, so that is the one that's most comparable to other lights like the bar lights from Grower's Choice or Photon Tech, for example. However, the cable management system is a bit undesirable. I assume you can just leave the cable bunched up near the driver or feed the cable over an attachment point when keeping the driver on the fixture. The series is daisy chainable for the dimmer channel and easy to connect via the included 5 foot RJ45 cable. One light can be used to control multiple lights on the same channel, which is a great feature. While the PAR measurements were good for a 4x4 tent, the total reported light output is not reported and the PAR efficacy from Mars Hydro is unreliable. I doubt that the PAR efficacy is 2.9 micromoles per joule. Mars should have these lights independently lab tested in an integrating sphere. Furthermore, what bin diodes is Mars using on these lights? I doubt that they're top bin, but even mid bin would be acceptable. The FC series uses a little cooler spectrum than most other bar lights on the market. There's a higher bump in blue than most other full spectrums that I've seen. I've noticed that many Chinese LED grow light companies use a cooler spectrum, and I'm not sure why. Maybe to bump up the efficacy? The spectrum is still pretty good, an improvement over their past spectrums with more red in there, and will grow some great plants. The three-year warranty on this fixture is actually pretty standard in this industry. Any warranty issues are 100% free in the first year, and after that you'll need to pay the shipping fee for the components or for sending the light back for repair depending on the issue. The price of the FC4800 is $659.99. For reference, the FC3000 is $359.99, and the FC6500 is $959.99. Overall, the FC series is Mars's best yet. It is solidly constructed, uses the most efficient diodes, and is powered by high quality drivers. Check out the link to the FC3000, 4800, and 6500 product page in the description if you wanna learn more or purchase these lights. And check out our LED Grow Light Buyer's Guide checklist link too. You can use code LED Depot for 3% off on Mars Hydro's site, link below, if you decide to purchase from them. Hit the like button and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing the most popular LED grow lights on the market. Check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube as well. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for LED grow light giveaways, sales, and the latest and greatest on LED grow lighting. See you later.